Last December, the decision was made by Speaker Boehner and his party in the House not to give regular budget funding to the Department of Homeland Security. Instead, what they gave them was a continuing resolution, which basically means their authority to spend money is limited. And that continuing resolution runs out two weeks from today. We're embroiled in a fight in Washington about funding this department. Many of us believe there's no questions to be asked here. We've got to make sure this funding comes through. Yesterday, I made a motion on the floor of the United States Senate for clean funding bill for the Dep Department of Homeland Security. And there was an objection from the other side of the aisle. So the clock is ticking with two weeks to go. The reason we came here today was to tell you what the Department of Homeland Security means to local firefighters. And I thank uh, the gentlemen who are with us today, first for their service in their communities, for risking their lives to keep us safe, and for coming here today to dramatize the importance of this national debate. First, with regard to fire departments, Illinois communities throughout the state re rely on critical funding from the Department of Homeland Security. Grants received through the Staffing for Adequate Fire and Emergency Response Program, the SAFER program, which SAFER grants, which virtually every fire chief and fire uh, fighter knows, help departments hire new firefighters, retain the ones that they'd otherwise lose due to budget cuts. 18 Illinois fire departments are currently receiving $9.5 million in federal funding awarded over the past two years. They include North Chicago, Franklin Park, LaGrange, Kankakee, many others right here in the Chicago area. Because these payments are made on a bi-monthly, monthly or quarterly basis, if we don't refund the Department of Homeland Security, God forbid, 59 Illinois firefighters supported by these funds aren't going to receive their paychecks. There won't be anyone at the DHS to write them. The men and women supported by these grants are necessary to make sure the departments can respond to emergencies. DHS grants also are used to purchase critically needed equipment, we have some examples here, and to support operations and safety efforts. The Assistance of Firefighters Grant, known as the AFG, allows fire departments to purchase new fire trucks or better gear, as well as things like more reliable communications tools. These grants would also allow departments to pay for training for first responders. Finally, there's another DHS program that the City of Chicago and Cook County rely on. In the region, it's known as Urban Area Security Initiative, UASI uh, region. It means Chicago is an area that needs to prepare against potential terrorist threats. And we pay special attention in the Homeland Security to urban areas just like Chicago. These funds are used for terrorism protection, training, and equipment. Last year, we received $69.5 million in UASI grants to our region right here in Chicago. We use some of it to buy radio equipment, other uh, pieces of equipment that are necessary, install video surveillance cameras in sensitive part, uh, parts of the city, and to use funding for training. We need to make sure that the people of Chicago and millions of visitors are always going to be safe. This is what it comes down to. It's time for the Congress to do its job. It's time to end the political fight. Let's pass a clean appropriations bill for the Department of Homeland Security. Let's not leave in doubt at all whether or not these grants are going to be there as needed by these local firefighters who literally risk their lives for us every single day.